Hi and welcome to Wrong Way and today we have two batteries one of them supposedly has 6,000 6,800 milliamp hours which obviously doesn't seem right because 18 650 cells are usually have the maximum capacity of 3,500 milliamp hours. So today we're going to show you the difference between a between a Chinese cell with questionable parameters and a regular Samsung 30Q cell. Let me tell you more about it. <laughs> if you haven't time to watch all episode, this is shitty as hell. So the first test we're going to perform is to measure the resistance of each battery. The smaller the resistance, the more power a single cell can output. So cells with high output power will have a resistance of like 10, 12 milliohms. And cells that have a higher capacity can go up to like 20 milliohms. Like for example, the LG MJ1. You might have a bigger capacity then, but you can't deliver as much electricity as the cells with smaller resistance. So with this cell, which is the Samsung 30Q, um, the, the producer tells about a maximum discharge of around 15 amps, but at this rate the cell gets really, really warm. So a safe discharge rate is around 7 to 8 amps and maybe 15 amps in peak. When you, uh, when you compare that information with um, data sheet diagrams, you can find more information about the cell. And now we will measure uh, the, voltage, the resistance. Uh, the voltage and inner resistance. Okay, let's do it. So here we have uh, a standard multimeter to, to, to measure the voltage. And here we can... And, and resistant meter to, 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 to measure uh, inner resistance. First, the voltage, the uh, nom nominal voltage of Samsung 30 Q. Nominal, we have uh, 3.4. And this is the brand new cell from uh, from uh, 100 pack. Uh, when you want to buy a brand new cell, they always uh, come to the inbox, uh, 100 box. Main thing is use cells from one from one sort. I measure the Chinese cell. Yeah, exactly. 3.88, so uh, even to 3.9. And now uh, we measure the inner resistance. All right. So this this is the measurement. So this was the Samsung 30Q. Yeah, and uh, now we compare with China cell. <laughs> oh, that's bad. <laughs> and actually, so I can only, like measured uh, how what's the capacity of this cell. It's actually 800 million hours <laughs> in comparison to like 3,500 max. Yeah, and <laughs> <laughs> the cell actually shows 6,800 million hours, which is. Impossible. For me, the nominal uh, capacity of this uh, cell is about 800. 800. Now we compare with LG HG2. First, the measurement, the measure of the voltage. 35556. All right. Now the measure of the inner resistance. <laughs> Sony VTC 5A. Okay. The most popular cell in uh, to to build a bikes with, with big nominal power. Mm -hmm. And 25 R, uh, popular cell to build uh, soft e bikes with soft power. Samsung. Samsung. Samsung 25 R. Oh, and this is all the battery, uh, battery what I find in our warehouse in, in the recycle bin. Yes. Boom. So what's the point of the video? Well, we just wanted to show you that there are these sorts of cells and these sorts of cells. And unless you don't know for sure what you buy, like, like the LG MH1 cells or something from Samsung, 
you really don't know what you're getting. And in this case it was something special because it was a battery that was in a uh, um, doorbell, so it doesn't have to be that powerful, but even when you buy batteries they might turn out totally different than advertised. So if you're still here, thank you, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. And I'll see you in the next video. And if you want to see more content like this, please uh, leave a comment below.